guys, it's Debbie with Cooking with Driftwood and Shine. Coming on. I say that every time. Coming on. Coming on. And today we're going to make some homemade spaghetti sauce. We're going to start with one pound of hamburger meat. It's already been browned. You see, it's already been browned. To that, we're going to add our onions. And this is just one medium onion diced. I've already got that diced just to cut time because I've already shown y'all how to dice. So y'all know how to do that. But we are going <clears> to, <throat> I'm going to turn you down because I'm going to show you how, because uh, we're putting bell pepper in it. So I want to show you how I do my bell pepper. There, I don't know why it wouldn't turn. There. Okay, now this is what I do is I just stand my bell pepper up on the end and then I just take my knife and slice through it while I, and I'm cutting membrane and everything off when I do that. And I just get my things out. And you can cut this off. That's quite a bit. We will you go ahead and, and get that because we don't want to waste all that. But you don't have to. Okay. Getting our seeds out of the way. And then all I do to dice up a bell pepper is just slice it. And then take and turn it the other way, and then you dice it, slicing and dicing. And this is the best chili, I'm um, chili, spaghetti, guys. But I want to tell you, I do want to tell you this. You have to, and this is a medium bell pepper. It's not one of the big old, big old bell peppers. It's just a medium bell pepper. But you have to use, when you're making recipes that are a sauce recipe, most of the time, guys, you got to pretty much go by the recipe. You can add... Like add a little bit once you taste it, add your spices, blah, blah, blah. But you need to pretty much go by it. Now we're going to add our bell pepper in here. And this is because we want to have our vegetables that we're adding to our spaghetti sauce. I'm putting it in with my meat because I want it to have time to um, get soft. And kind of, you know, the flavors of your onion and your bell pepper to, to marry in with your beef. That's basically what we're doing. So we just stir those up. Keep them stirred. Now I do have a little pot, guys, because um, somebody had borrowed my big pot, I guess, because I don't have it. So I'm hoping it'll all fit in here because this is going to be a big old pot of spaghetti sauce. But now I'm using the Green Giants uh, sliced mushrooms guys you don't have to put mushrooms in it we like mushrooms normally we use the fresh mushrooms but when i got them out of the refrigerator they were not good i don't use mushrooms when they feel kind of kind of i don't want to say slimy but when they feel slick and so i just got out the can of mushrooms and that's a six ounce can but you can use like if you really like mushrooms use more mushrooms i mean that's that's up to you this is gonna be a really full pot of spaghetti. Matter of fact, I might better stop right now and go find my other pan. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Debbie with Cooking with Drift Windchime. Here's my pan. Now with all my vegetables, they're soft. So now what we're gonna do is add in our spices. Guys, again, when you're cooking a sauce, the amount of spices, normally a recipe is formulated for a certain amount of meat, a certain amount of vegetables, and whatever. This recipe, because we, we've done it before, we've made the mistake of adding more meat because we wanted more meat, and then eh, it didn't taste right because there was so much meat that it took up the spices and it didn't cook into all the spaghetti. So I'm just showing you the basic recipe. When you add to it to make more, just make sure that you adjust the amount of spices. If you add more meat, you're going to have to have more spice, okay? Well, we're going to start with our McCormick chili powder. You know I love McCormick chili powder. We're putting in two tablespoons and just like a, eh, I don't like stamp it off or whatever, but two tablespoons of chili powder, and it's chili powder now. Let me get, then we're going to have 
Now guys, this is McCormick again, but pay attention, it's garlic powder. If you use garlic salt, then your chili, I mean your spaghetti, I keep calling it chili, your spaghetti's gonna be too salty. So we want two tablespoons, I mean two teaspoons of it. We're using a teaspoon. Just shake that one off good, because it's not that bad. And then we got celery salt, and this is celery salt, and it's McCormick. We're using one, one teaspoon of that. Okay, then we're gonna have one teaspoon of salt. Doesn't matter what salt you use, that's your preference. I'm a sea salt girl, so most of my stuff's sea salt. Just use one teaspoon of salt. Whoops. One teaspoon of salt. Then we use two, two teaspoons of Worcestershire. And I like Heinz, I'm a, I like Heinz Worcestershire, but it really doesn't matter, guys. Whatever kind you like, whatever kind you have. Now, we also like Crystal hot sauce. You just use three drops. One, ooh, that was one, two, three, all in one. And then we use one fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. And that's it for the spices, guys. And if, like I said, if you add more meat, make sure that you Add more spices so that your spice level is um, level with your meat. You want it to be able to, your spices are to make whatever you're cooking taste like whatever it is you're cooking. I mean, that's the whole point of why you put certain spices. And if you put too much spices or too much meat, then your flavor's going to be off. But you want to make sure that you start with only one, one pound of hamburger. Don't don't go over and say, oh, I like more hamburger. So guys, I'm just giving you the basic recipe of what I go by. It's going to be up to you to get it to fit your, your liking. Now I'm letting this cook a little bit because I want my chili powder and all that stuff to, to cook into this meat and into these vegetables, but especially into my meat. And my get I'll go ahead and tell you my tomato sauce and tomato paste, and I'm a Hunt's girl. I, I have, You know you have certain things that you like. We're Hunt's girl. Our tomato paste is Hunt's. We're gonna have two cans of tomato sauce, and these are 15 ounce cans of tomato sauce. You have two of those, and you have either two cans of six ounce tomato paste or one can of 12. This is a 12 ounce can, so I only had to have one. But they're the salt added. They're not the no salt. If you do the no salt, like if you're cooking for less salt, then adjust your spices. You may not even wanna put this salt in there. I'm, I'm not sure because I don't do the no salt cooking. I probably need to do the no salt cooking, but I don't. And there again, guys, I've got on my um, neck towel. So all I've got to do when I want to wipe my hands is literally wipe my hands because my towel's right here. I don't have to go looking for it. If I wanted to pick up my pan and it was hot, all I'd have to do is like this to pick up my pan. These neck towels are on Sunny's Boutique page. I will put a um, link to them in the top of the video if y'all are interested in a neck towel. They are awesome, I'm gonna tell you, because you're always losing towels. Okay, now I've let this cook in there a little while, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my, I'm adding two cans of my tomato sauce. And then I'm gonna add half a can of water while I'm doing this, half a can of water, kind of stir it around a little bit with your spoon, get most of that tomato sauce, that goodness. You don't want to leave any of that goodness in your can, or I don't. I like it. So that's a half a can in there. Then we're going to do a half a can in our other can. Half a, yeah, half a can of water. Stir it around, get all your goodness out of it. Pour it in. Okay, now we're ready for our tomato paste. We're just gonna take it out. Guys, this recipe is so good. If y'all try it, please let me know down below if you tried it and how your family liked it or if you made any changes to it. Because I know we're all cooks, or most people are, and you're going to 
you're gonna make a few changes here or there. You just are. That's just the way cooks do. But I can tell you, if if you're not a cook and you're following the recipe, this is one you want to follow pretty pretty to the T because of it being a sauce and you don't want it to not taste like spaghetti when you're through. <laughs> and I'm gonna put about a fourth of a can in here and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna wipe down my my can with my spoon and use that water to kind of get it off. Because I don't like to waste stuff, guys. I mean, you don't really have to do this. This is not a requirement to making spaghetti. But it's just what I do. Okay, pour it in there. And now we've got all our ingredients of our spaghetti in the pan. And all we're going to do is stir it up to where our um, tomato paste mixes in with your tomato sauce and it's not lumpy anymore. And then we're gonna cut our fire down and let it cook, keep it stirred. We'll let it cook for about 30, 45 minutes just so all the flavors marry together and all the stuff tastes like spaghetti, guys. That's the whole point. When you're making spaghetti, you want it to taste like spaghetti. <laughs> so we're just gonna stir it and get it in there. Let it taste, you know, let it all come together. And then I'm gonna simmer it for, like I said, about 30, 45 minutes. And in the meantime, while I'm doing that, I'll be making my noodles so that when this gets done, I can eat. Isn't that great? Okay, all right, that's it for right now. I'll be back in a little bit when we're ready to um, show you, plate it up and show you it's ready. All right, bye. Me again, I forgot to show you what it looks like in the pan now. So I just wanted to show you. That's what it looks like now. And we'll let it, like I said, we're gonna let it simmer now. And you may have to add a little bit more water if it cooks down and gets thicker than what you like. You may have to add a little bit more water, but we're just gonna let it sit there, marry together, and then we'll come back and fix us a plate of noodles. All right, guys, love ya. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, our spaghetti is cooked for a good while and I've got it simmering. Guys, it's just simmering on low. You see it's not popping out all over the place. If you're cooking yours and you turn it down to simmer, after you, once you get it all in there, stand there with it a while and stir it a little bit and, you know, let it kind of get the started cooking before you turn it down on simmer. But when you turn it down on simmer, if yours is still popping everywhere, you've got it a little high. Just turn it down a little bit more. It's okay, but make sure you keep it stirred so it doesn't scorch on the bottom. Now, we've cooked our noodles right over here in this pot. And this is what I'm going to do because I didn't cook very many noodles. I mean, I cook some in case the kids wanted some, but I'm just using my spaghetti scoop and I'm getting it up. I'm not straining it over at the sink. Well, best to turn it off first. <laughs> Anyhow, and I'm just getting using my spaghetti scoop and y'all know what a spaghetti scoop is. It's one that's made like this. That's just to scoop spaghetti with. Whoever thought of it was intelligent. I'm just getting all my noodles out of here. And your noodles, guys, on the package, because we just use package noodles, we definitely don't make our own noodles. One day I'm going to try that, though. But um, anyhow, we just read the package, however long it tells you to cook it. These were Ronco noodles, and it said to cook them eight to nine minutes, depending on how soft you want them. So I cooked them about eight and a half. But anyhow, we're just straining our noodles up. And then once we get it strained, right over here, I have my butter. And there again, that's depending on what you like. I'm just putting me some butter in here. We're blue bonnet, we like blue bonnet. And I'm just stirring it around, the butter and the noodles. And this, guys, you do this so that your noodles don't gum up and stick together. That's, that's why you do it. And to add taste if you use butter. Okay, now I've got that mostly stirred. I'm just gonna put it right over there. Then I'm gonna dip me some up on my plate. Now I'm not dipping it up. You can serve spaghetti where you put the big old thing of noodles out on your plate, out of like a platter or whatever, and then you put the sauce over it all real and pretty, and then you sprinkle your Parmesan over it, and um, you could even put like sweet basil and stuff like that. I'm just fixing some for myself, so I don't have to do that. 
And then I just get me some spaghetti sauce and I'll turn it. Now that I'm dipping some of it, I'm going to turn it off because I'm not going to be coming in here to watch it because I'm fixing to go eat now. But you just dip your spaghetti sauce over there. And yes, I do like a little bit of noodle with my spaghetti sauce. <laughs> I like the sauce. Guys, y'all let me know if y'all try this sauce. It is so good. I'm going to try to taste it for you, but it's pretty hot. Pretty hot. But anyhow, it is so good. Y'all let me know if you try it. And you can have like garlic bread, guys. The kind you cook in the oven is real good with it. If you like a lot of garlic. See, I don't. So I prefer to make my own toast so that I could just sprinkle real light garlic on it. I don't want to burn myself. That is good, guys. Use my towel. Remember the neck towels. Homemade spaghetti. And like I said, my noodles, I cooked according to direction. And we do put salt in our noodles. I know sometimes you don't put salt in your noodles, but we put salt in our noodles. But this is it. Homemade spaghetti. And please, if you make it so that it tastes right, stay right on the recipe. Only one pound of hamburger meat. And make sure you use garlic powder and not garlic salt. Because that's the two places I have really messed up in the past. We have been making this spaghetti sauce, guys, literally since 1980. And we've not changed it. Other than, like, if we add a little more meat, then we'll, you know, doctor up on the spices. That's what I call it, doctoring up on the spices. But this spaghetti sauce is a go-to, and it's great. All right? Y'all let me know if you make it. Love you guys. Have a good day.